Courtney, we're now into our seventh week of pre-season training. How have you found it so far? So far, it's been a really, really positive experience. I think everyone's gearing to be back, gearing to play rugby with like real contact in it. Like the touch games were fun, but it's nice to play full-on rugby um, and get back on the pitch. What have you enjoyed the most about pre-season so far? I think the intensity has been really high. We've had an amazing group of girls come down, lots of old players, new players as well um, from all over the place. So it's really nice to have some new energy um, get the girls going. And with new coaches as well, they're really pushing us to our limits um, and having a great impact on what we want to develop for the season. So it's been a really good seven weeks so far. You mentioned the coaches. Can you sort of touch on the culture being developed within the squad? Yeah, so I think it's one of those that they really want to empower us to make good decisions on the pitch and off the pitch. They want us to play as a team. So they're really giving us the tools that we need to do what we need to on the pitch and make the decisions that we think are best for the team. Um, and it's not just about, oh, the tens running everything. It's about, you know, I'm an individual player and how do I contribute to this overall team? For you personally, what has been your focus this season? What areas of your game are you hoping to develop? So I'm really focusing on, you know, controlling focusing on getting into 10 um, and developing in that position and my organization within that position. So making sure that I have, you know, the connection between the forwards and the backs, make sure we're in sync and understanding what's going on across the board um, between the two areas of the pitch. Moving on to the next few weeks, we've got uh, pre-season fixtures coming up. Uh, the, the first are playing OAs on the 12th of September. How exciting is this for the squad? Oh, it's so exciting. I mean, it's been, I guess, you know, 18 months or so of like no full rugby. So like a pre-season match is so exciting for the girls. Everybody's buzzing. Everyone wants to be on that team sheet. And I think it's going to allow us to have the energy and focus going into the next couple of weeks leading up to that to really do the best we can to be the best we can for that ahead of the season. Yep, obviously the season we're competing two teams in the women's championship. What are you most looking forward to? It'll be really good to play against some different teams. Um, I used to play in the champ um, for Hove before I moved to Richmond. So it'll be nice to see some old faces play against some old teams. But there's also new teams because a lot has changed. And that championship level for champ one and two has really stepped up. Um, there's been so much development and the pickup in women's rugby across the board has led to those teams getting such good talent. So it's going to be really competitive. Um, there's no just because you know we've come down from the prem doesn't mean anything it's going to be super competitive and lots of fun as well during the summer you switched codes and played rugby league for the london broncos women oh, can you sort of explain how that opportunity came about yeah so i just got contacted by an old richmond player that was in the setup um looking for players they're looking to grow the game i had dabbled in um, league five years ago or so um, just for fun uh, so it was really nice to be able to take that opportunity to go and check it out and like an actual proper setup um, so really cool to be a part of something that was brand new um, good group of girls all across across southwest London and I think a bit from north as well and just play a different sport and get to know other people do you feel your experience playing rugby league will benefit your game here at Richmond and, and rugby union? Yeah, absolutely. So I played at halfback um, in the games and, it, you know, key things was organization. It's one of my work ons at the moment and got to do a lot of kicking as well, like tactical kicking. So skill wise, it's very transferable. Um, and I think the games can complement each other really well because I think there is a lot more crossover than people realize. You mentioned transferable. Would you encourage other players to give other sports a try during the summer months? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's sevens, there's touch, there's tag, there's league now um, in the South. Like there's an opportunity to continue your skills in different environments. And I think everybody should look to do that when they have the chance. Well, Courtney, thank you for your time. Enjoy training tonight and Thanks. good luck for the season ahead. Thank you.